still ahead here at 4 o'clock. It's happy hour here at NBC4. We're taking you inside an Orange County company blending history with a new tequila technique. As we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month this Friday, we pour the tequila. NBC4's John Caddy's Klimak takes us inside an Orange County company that's become a leader in the industry. Who would have thought a story about Hispanic heritage and tequila would find us in a speakeasy in Rancho Santa Margarita? And yet, here we are. It's such a rewarding feeling for me to be able to do something that is part of my heritage and my culture. Anna Harding is a first-generation Mexican-American and one of the only females in an executive position in a very male-dominated business. For me, it's been a great honor to be able to be in this um, industry it took a lot of hard work. This is Anna holding a blue agave plant in her family's home state of Jalisco, Mexico. It's where she helped Rick Gamara find the farm that would lead to a world-class tequila empire. It's really growing leaps and bounds right now. Gamara started Asombroso Tequila in 2002. Every detail carefully cultured all the way down to the Asombroso name itself, a task he gave his wife to complete. First of all, letter A is going to be first in all the liquor books and all the menus. I went, okay, you got my interest. She says, awesome broso means amazing. I went, okay, great. And she goes in, all the gringos are going to call it awesome tequila. <laughs> Everything happens in Mexico. It has to, to be real, authentic tequila. From the harvesting of the blue agave plant, to the cooking, crushing, fermenting, and distilling, to the bottling and shipping. Camaro goes one step further, showing how the tradition of tequila meets today's innovation in the way he allows the tequila to rest in French barrels for up to 10 years. It was the first batch shipped to California in 2008 that put Asombroso in the headlines, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Anna submitted their silver tequila without Rick's knowledge. And Rick was like, what are you doing? Why did you do that? Like, nobody knows our brand. Nobody knows, nobody even has heard of Asombroso tequila. Turns out, no one needed to know the brand. It was a blind taste test that would win top prize among 367 world-renowned tequila brands. Double gold medal. And now, the Orange County Company is going worldwide. We just launched in Japan. We're going to launch Germany. For a traditional drink. It's a drink that is brought out for celebrations. That's quickly pushing its way into top shelf palates. I think because it is such a big part of the Latino heritage that I just don't see it ever going away. From Rancho Santa Margarita, John Caddy's Klimak, NBC4 News.